Well, I don't know when we're going to begin, but welcome back. Here we are at the Lark Book Show, and we're with Dale and Steve, who's behind the cameras because that's where he wants to be. And we're <laughs> at Bravo One, which is part of the Grange Live Gaming. Um, so, Dale, you've taken us through all five floors um, yep. of this fabulous building. But tell me a little bit about, uh, well, a little bit more about uh, what Grange Live Gaming is all about. Um, so, basically, we're trying to create a essentially a, a hobby hub regardless of sort of what particular brand of nerding you're into whether it's LARP or <laughs> board gaming or tabletop or airsoft whichever whichever yeah. one it is that, that floats your boat that's yeah. what we're trying to build so it's kind of a, a hub where all of those things come into one place um, and then sort of from there you can then go to wherever our game floors are or whichever game floors we're using uh, for that particular activity, whether you're running your own event or run, playing something that we're running. Um, there's all stuff going on pretty much all of the time. Yeah, and I think, because you've been going here for about a year now, haven't yeah. you? And you've got two other sites which we'll come on to, but we'll, we'll just, uh, I suppose, concentrate on Bravo One, which is in the centre of Birmingham. Yep. And, um, you know, it's just fairly easy to find, actually, when you know where you're going. I suppose <laughs> uh, it is, is far, rather, rather marvellous. But what I love about this building, though, it's an old warehouse and you've kind of just basically uh, made it into a little bit of a maze to try and accommodate any kind of story which is kind of following yeah. what you were saying. Um, and what I liked about it was the fact that it's just anything's possible, isn't it? It's yeah, just it's, it's so versatile. It's all of us have got sort of background in various different hobbies. I mean, all of, pretty much all of us that work here are, are live role players. Sure. Um, and as we've been building things and designing things, we've tried to keep it as neutral as we can, so mm -hmm. that you can dress it for pretty much anything, regardless of what setting it is that you're using, um, so that it's easily changeable, mm -hmm. um, so that you can, because it's obviously it's, it's indoors, so it's a finite space, it's not kind of like sort of woodland site where you mm -hmm. sort of, you can walk a mile down the road and there's something different. It's, yeah, yeah. We've got sort of a 70,000 square foot building, but it is a finite amount of space. We've made it as changeable as possible. So you can change the layout and you can move things around, and dress things differently. So you've still got that versatility as you're, um, as you're running your event. Um, so it's, it's kind of, we've, we've built it from the ground up. So we yeah. started with the shell and then designed everything on the, on the yeah. interior. Um, and built it ourselves so that we can change things um, as, as easily as possible. Sure. <laughs> makes things better for us. Well, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so your role in all of this, what, what do you actually do in all um, this? My job is uh, essentially dealing with all of the live roleplay stuff that happens on the site. So whether you're coming in to run your own event um, or whether you're playing one of our events, it's basically my job to facilitate what you're doing. So if you're sort of coming in and running your own event, you'll usually be liaising with me um, about sort of your requirements from the site uh, and sort of what you want to do. So, because sure. we've all got experience of running our own events and stuff like that, it's pretty much anything that you can come up with will sort of be able to give you a yeah. bit more guidance on the site and how best to go about that yeah. and how to fit that in sort of the restrictions of, of the site of this is where the walls are, but we can mm -hmm. move things around. So if you've got sort of a particular layout that you want, we can either add extra stuff in, so build yeah. walls around or change walls, or sort of help you come up with a, a, a way of doing that. So it's pretty much anything that you could want to yeah. to achieve. It's, we can pretty much do that, short of obviously levelling the building and planting trees. Um, <laughs> Even that's doable, yeah. uh, we, we can do that, yeah. 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 Oh, sorry, Steve, you can't talk. You didn't want to talk. <laughs> we're, we're, we're completely deafening you. Sorry, Larry. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> no, it is marvellous, and that's what I like about this. So, this has been going for a year. You've got two other sites, haven't you? As uh, well? It's one other site. So, so there's one other the, site. Yeah. Uh, Grange in Portal Common, just outside right. Coventry, which is our outdoor site. Yeah, um, yeah. Which is uh, a combination of woodland and open areas. Sure. Um, and they've sort of in a similar setup to here but sort of a bit more spread out so sure. you've got sort of individual set piece areas yeah, yeah. Um, that you can dress how you want so kind of sort of between a four and little villages and, and stuff like that and buildings um, they've also just built a or recently built a shanty town right. out of pallets <laughs> yeah. uh, for one of our games that we run called kleptocracy right. yeah um, which is sort of set in the undercity so we built an undercity wow. um, so that's the sort of level of stuff that we go through because it's sort of 
it's all very well and good imagining the game but if you've got the ability there to actually build what that's supposed to look mm. like then why don't we do that yes yeah. start uh, sort yeah, of you're absolutely right up in that game there's a lot sort of looking through live role play as a whole costume standards mm. starting to go up well, why aren't we doing that with sites let's start pushing yeah. what we can do with sites yeah, yeah, yeah. to make the site better um, and then it just lifts the hobby up for everybody really. yeah, that is true actually because what I really loved about this was the fact that you'd kind of thought about how both crews but you know both monsters spawning areas the little hidey holes mm -hmm. little different ways and you know kind of uh, corridors that you can yeah. go through that no one else would ever see you you can just literally yeah. you know kind of pop up absolutely everywhere and it does because I think we're, we're, we're pretty poor aren't we we go to scout camps and I suppose you you've got a story in your own mind, mm. but then you have to make the forest fit the, the you know kind of yeah. the story. And then you're always having to go right time out, time freeze, and now all of a sudden someone's in front of you. Whereas yeah. actually, like you were saying, you could pretty much make that. Yeah, happen. you can just drop yeah. people in wherever without the players ever seeing or knowing that they were there. You it's, can just move them yeah. to all different parts. Well, of the it, it is brilliant. I tell you what, this does remind me of though. It's it's my worst nightmare, um, <laughs> and that's Silent Hill. Um, you know, because uh, the hospital ward just yep. uh, a few floors up. Is, is potentially one of the scariest and, and I, I have to say although I didn't say anything at the time you've got airsoft going on up here which is a very good one and I actually genuinely thought I saw an outline of someone that had just been shot to death um, on one of the walls <laughs> and it, was, it was almost this kind of kind of look about it so obviously if someone's been mercilessly you know kind of culled at that stage yeah. but that's great because you've got everything you need here haven't you from the you know kind of what will be the um, the, the canteen that you've got you've yeah. got um, you know you've got a LARP weapons and accessories available haven't you from lots of different you know people um, you've got all the airsoft as well yeah. as you know kind of and, that, and that's all kind of going to grow so yeah so it's, yeah, you're it's all evolving. part of our, our mm. sort of trying to create a, a hub and bringing all of these pretty similar hobbies together sure. yeah yeah um and sort of it's it's good for everybody because it, yeah. it it brings interest into whichever way around it sort yeah, of yeah. your angle you're coming at it it's, yeah there's always something going on always something to get involved in yeah um and different ways of of changing what it is that you're doing whether you're doing airsoft and then yeah. you want to start doing more story based stuff which takes it more into larp or whether you're yeah, doing yeah. larp and you want a more realistic sort no, of combat absolutely. mechanic for firearms and stuff like that yeah yeah um, and all very competitively priced as well as <laughs> <laughs> so um that that, that that was really good so um obviously you've got lots of bookings going on but what about the future what what's planned in for you know the next year or so just for our oh, blimey view um, <laughs> so uh at the moment we're Sort of essentially changing some of the site around that we've already built so the downstairs which is currently our safe zone for airsoft um, is being refitted uh, we'll be putting a cafe in so it will then become more of a board games cafe um, that will be open pretty much all week so you can drop in drop out between kind of 8 and 11 mm. um, to do whatever <coughs> you want really or whether you're waiting for another activity that you're doing um, we're putting in a VR gaming suite that sounds Which a lot of fun, that does. Yeah, it's something that we're all quite keen to try, yeah, and obviously, because yeah. there's going to be cool. some kind of staff testing to make sure it works properly. Well, obviously, <laughs> if you need baggage handlers, oh, yeah. you know where we are. We're always here for you. Um, so, yeah, that, that'll be going in downstairs, so Airsoft mm -hmm. will be moving to another part of the building in terms of sort of where they, they set up. Yeah. Um, and that's just kind of the downstairs on the ground floor. In yeah. terms of game floors, we've still got two game floors that we've got to build. Um, which again will have a different layout and a different theme to mm. the other ones. Um, we've got a number of LARP events, either, both through outside groups that are coming in to run their own events here, um, hiring various different floors um, to run their events and events that we're <coughs> running um, that haven't been written yet, but that's <laughs> in between all of the other stuff yeah. that we've got to do. I've, I've got two LARP systems that I've got to write. Sure. Um, so not much on then, no, really. Yeah, in between that, really. Standard yeah, stuff for a, a week, really, really, yeah. I was yeah. going to say. <laughs> I should probably do something. Everyone quite, else is doing yeah. so much more than yeah. you at the yeah. moment. Yeah. But that, no, that's, that's good because I think there's, there's a lot of potential. That's what I thought when we mm. were looking around. There's huge amounts of potential. Um, and I think that, you know, like you were saying, what we do, what you are doing right here is, is upping the experience. So it is the kind of infrastructure yeah. that people do need that, you know. And, and I was saying to you, wasn't I, you could spend, you know, going up and down the floors. Um, we realised you could spend like a month just setting up. 
Yeah, you know, yeah, just because of the amount of potential yeah. that, that was actually here and, and what's available. But you did also very interestingly talk about uh, the concept of running some kind of, you know, LARP con, um, yeah. where maybe you know you could have your own fairs and you know, kind of scenario based stuff going on. Yeah, at so all the you, same time. you you could effectively run linears for whatever it is that you want to promote mm. on one of the other floors while there's other stuff going on all over the place. So there's, there's a lot of scope for the whole building. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there's a lot of ways that we can use it because each mm. floor can effectively be sealed off um, from the other. So there's not really any crossover between activities. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it holds sounding quite well as well. So, yeah. so if there's a little bit of sound transfer between the floors, but there's not a huge, sort of outside of that, there's not a huge amount, unless you're really going for it. It's <laughs> well, I think that's quite good, because that, that shows any DM that if you want to mercilessly kill your entire... <laughs> no, you know, one one group, no one will hear them No one will hear you scream, <laughs> absolutely. And you can even set off grenades. Nothing will happen to you other than people just walk by going, no. And then walk <laughs> on. You know. um, so that's brilliant. So we've talked about what you do, what it, you know, what's going to happen in the future, Dale. Um, thank you very much. I don't know if there's any other questions that we wanted to kind of slip in from there. I've got none, none at all. None at all, Rob. Have you, over here. It's all good over there, Dale. Thank you very no much for your time. It's been nice having you. Absolutely. Signing out from Lartbook. You know who you are. See you again. Right. Do you want to do the? Uh Yes, I do want to do the how I'd like to find it because we did say that we'd put that in the end. <laughs> and I'm not lying. So, okay. Um, it's really post coming in. It's post. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so what do we want? Do we want you like this now? Uh, <laughs> just want to go home. Um, uh, both hands in there, please. Just to go away. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we've talked about the um, what you do, your future. So how is it that if anyone wants to run an event, how do they get in contact with you? Um, we are on Facebook, page, Facebook, so if you look for our Facebook page, which is Grange Live Gaming, um, there's pretty much a full list of everything that we've got going on. And we've got sort of subgroups that are off of that, mm -hmm. depending on what it is that you're interested in, yeah. um, that we've got links to on our Facebook page. So if you're into board gaming and laugh and stuff like that, there's sort of a news feed that is specifically set up for that interest. And we've got one for Airsoft and all the sure. other stuff. Um, or we've got our website, which is grangelivegaming.com. Um, contacting us through either, either one of those will pick up and basically it gets passed on to the relevant person for whatever activity it is that you, mm. you want. So if it's a shop inquiry, we'll pass it over to, to Steve. Um, if it's about LARP, then it will be passed over to me um, and then we'll kind of start an exchange and get people in for, for visits or to have a look around and, and start working out what it is that you want. And I highly recommend come and have a look around. You, you've got to come and have a look around all of this because it is such a fabulous place, <laughs> albeit freezing cold. Um, but you know, kind of that's just me and I'm a big girl. Um, I'm sure once you start running around, it'd be absolutely fantastic though. But this is a fabulous place. Thank you so much for having Sorry. us. Uh, it has been awesome. Uh, so that's from us from Lartbook. We'll see you again. You know where you are hmm? or who you are. Just go. Will you go? Just go. Go.